It's me, your host, Cartoon Skull Chris, and this is the Not Even a Show. I seem to be losing my connection to the cartoon world, which hopefully means I'll be able to re-enter reality soon, but it could also mean that it's the end for me and that you'll never see me or this channel ever again. Is my, oh, and am I turning? Is my skull turning? I, sorry, I can't control that. Anyways, we've got a great one for you this week, as we've got calls from Porno Pat and the Fat Master, as well as calls to our friend Todd Starnes. Plus, we compete in a rap competition. First, though, we had this tape submitted to us by a man known as the Wolverine who claims to be the toughest and meanest stand-up comedian of all time. Check it out. He'll fuck you up good, yeah, he'll fuck you up clean. He's the meanest around, he's the Wolverine. Wolverine. A lot of people come out and see my show, and I don't know if you guys have seen online, like I'm kind of... I'm kind of known as uh, uh, the Wolverine. Have you got any Wolverine heads? No? Okay. Um, so yeah, I just have sort of this moniker online. I'm kind of known for really destroying hecklers. Do you know what I mean? I make a lot of those YouTube videos where I fuck up hecklers and I really put them in their place. So a lot of times people come to the show and they'll say, oh, that sucks, no one heckled them. He didn't really get to fuck anyone up. And so what I'll do is I'll open it up at the end. I'll sort of open it up and say, hey, feel free, go ahead, try to heckle me. As long as you understand, <laughs> then I'm not gonna hold back, okay? <laughs> and it's gonna be a fucking bloodbath, and I'll embarrass you in front of everyone that you fucking came with. So as long as you fucking understand that, and you're fine with that, hit me with the worst heckle you got. Nice hair! Oh, nothing about the hair, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah, sorry, sometimes it's like people are, could be for first time heckling too, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, was, yeah, you don't do stuff about physical appearance or whatever, man. Just like, where, where are you over there? Right there. So can you do do like a heckle, like about, just do something about my act? You don't seem to believe in yourself. Oh, that cuts deep. <laughs> hmm. Just one's fine, man. <laughs> it doesn't usually go like this. <laughs> like usually, I'll just destroy him right off the bat. And <laughs> like if I could, if I could tell you that the last time, the last way it went is like some guy tried to heckle me, and then I was like, I was like, hey, sir, did you re did you realize that after elementary school, there's a whole other school you're supposed to go to, and then everyone's like, oh, ching ching. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Wolverine when I slice someone up. <laughs> But yeah, this is not how it goes. Um, well, we do have to close. We can't have it. We got to close with something. Uh, we got to. Okay, so sir, do you want to? Let's do one. You do a heckle on me where you say, "Hey, I bet you're never gonna. You'll never be able to buy a house in Vancouver." And I'll hit you with a in the moment uh, retort to that, and then we can just we'll blow this up. All right, so go ahead, sir. Hey, you'll never afford a house in Vancouver. Yes, one sec. <laughs> What, like, what do you not, it's just a regular haircut. You don't seem to believe in your hair. Are you doing callbacks to your own hecklers? <laughs> okay, man, if you think it's so easy though, in all honesty, like, I got the lights in front of me and stuff, why don't you come up on fucking stage and try it and then I'll fucking heckle you and see how you deal with it. Why doesn't he do that, hey? Give him a, come on up, man. Come on up. Oh, he's going around? <laughs> You fucking walk up the front, you idiot. Jesus. So I'm going to go, I'll leave this in here, and I'll come out into the crowd, and we'll see how he deals with the heckling, because it's a lot harder when you got the lights on you and everything. Hey, uh, hey, everyone. Hey, you suck, man. I want the last 
Whoa, all right. Okay. Uh, can we, security, can we get this guy out of here? Can we? Hey, how, how is everyone doing? You guys enjoying the show? Yeah, it's a great, it's been a good show. Can we, can we get him out? Can we get him? All right, hey, I've been Darcy. You guys are a fantastic crowd. Thank you so much for coming out. You guys have a good night. Todd Schnitt is a reformed shock jock who now does terrible, shitty political radio on Newsmax.tv and other stations. Let's check it out as we hit him with one of our favorite classic pranks. Uh, 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 stand by for that. I want to grab a couple of calls here. Uh, phones have been loaded uh, all hour. I just have so much ground to cover. So let's grab our first calls here. Let's start with Chris is in Idaho, Genesee, Idaho. Hey, Chris, you're on Schnitt. Welcome to the program. Hi. Hello, Mr. Schnitt. Thank you for taking my call. I'm a huge fan of yours. I listen every day. I watch you on News, Max. I absolutely love your stuff. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I take some heat from it sometimes from my family. What's up? Well, I got a, like a sister of mine who's very liberal, very left-wing, uh, kind of a snowflake type person. She's always telling me out. <laughs> You know, Todd Schnitt, uh, you know, he's a little, he's a shock jock, turned to politics, doing a bad job of it, and <laughs> he's just a little worm. And I'm like, no, he's actually a patriot. He, you know, he cares about our country. Wait, and wait. she's like, no, you know, he's a, he's a sweaty little worm. He looks like his breath smells really bad. You know, and he's always got sort of stuff forming on the side of his mouth. Wait, so, 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 really... so, so wait, wait, wait a sec. So you're snowflake liberal sister is is just berating me left and right yeah she <laughs> says that you know like that you, you look like you got farts that smell real bad and you don't really have anything to say on the on the radio you know i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i think i have plenty to say that is that a curiosity is your sister really saying this or are you just saying this to get on the show I promise you, sir. I'm a huge fan oh, of. All right, so, says, all right, so, that, that's all right, so, so, what, what, enough of your sister. What, 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 what did you want to, what did you want to say? Do you have anything you wanted to say? Well, you got so many commercials. On all the right, show, so, it's so, all right, hang on a second. Right, you know what? I, exactly what I suspected. Uh, it's not his. It's not his liberal sister. It's him. So he snuck in to get jabs at me. I don't even think there's a, a liberal snowflake sister. Anyway, it's very entertaining uh, because uh, I, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, uh, I, 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 I don't mind a little comedy. I don't mind a little, uh, you know, sell. I, listen, I deliver my own self-deprecating humor. That was actually the most entertaining call so far this week. Thanks for the call, Chris. Uh, I had you figured out, though, pretty fast, though. I get, get a couple of brownie points for that, but you did make me laugh. And I, I thought it was funny. Let's pop over and check in with our famous friend, the Fat Master, as he calls a radio show dedicated to the military men and women of the United States of America. And he's horny. Caller, you been blown up today. So. Caller, you're on the air. I'm just give me one second here. I'm having some problems with my audio. Uh, just let me change up. Can you hear me better now? Oh sure. yeah, that's a lot better. What's your name? That, that's a lot. My name is Roy. Uh, I was in the Facebook chat there, trying to get, trying to let you know that I uh, that I was trying to call in. I apologize. I wasn't meaning to be rude in there. Nothing like that. I didn't. I didn't read it. So you're you're good. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's he, good. He does, uh, I got I got so much respect for for anybody in the uniform, and, you know, out there serving our country. Yes. Um, you know, my favorite football team is the Patriots, and that's cool. uh, that's no coincidence. Not the Cowboys, huh? No, not the Cowboys, because oh. <laughs> the Patriots is like like the Patriots, like I am a patriot of yeah. the country. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yes, got, sir. I got you. Hello, Roy. Hello. There yes. you go. Okay, got you back. Okay. What's yeah. happening over? What is? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to throw a wrench into the show here or nothing like that. No, you're um, good. Not. Nah, I'm just a big fan. I'm just a fan and uh, of what you guys do and people like you and the message that you're putting forward. Thank and you. I love to. I'm tuned in on the Facebook, so I'm watching actually. And uh, yeah, you guys look good as well. You ain't too bad to look at. Well, thank you. 
You don't want to be talking about me. I had I had two choices to go radio or go TV, and I, I chose radio. Because I got a better voice than a face. <laughs> but, uh, but, 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 but now they got the Facebook Live, so I'm, I'm kind of screwed on that one. Roy, where are you yeah, calling from? So, uh, I'm in Genesee, Idaho. Oh, okay. Nice. Excellent. So we're getting out there. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. And I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm the full fap. I'm the whole big meal deal, if you know what I'm saying. I'm big you. fap all day. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Well, yeah. you know, we, we appreciate you calling in. We totally appreciate you listening and, and supporting that us. That cowboy hat looks so good, man. God, you look good right now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for that. I'm known the I'm known. shirt, dude. They, I mean, you got the shirt, you got the button undone, and everything, and it's like, oh man, you know, it's kind of like, oh, we're kind of opening the present up a little bit, giving you a little peek on what to get, what you got inside. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Well, listen, Roy, thank you so much for calling in. We got to take some other calls right now, but I'm uh, we appreciate off. you being out there, brother. I'm batching off right now. All righty. I'm batching. There we go. All right. Well, thank you, Roy. Appreciate that. Coming, coming back. Uh, so, okay, let, Gus, let's talk about uh, the uh, – man, I lost my notes here. No Judgment Music is actually a pretty cool little Facebook group where they allow people to go on and rap live to an audience that is 100% positive. There's nothing bad about this one, but you know when they're letting us rap live on a stream, we're going to have some fun with it. Check it out. Make sure you uh, hashtag uh, NJM. If y'all want to go live or send me an invite. Because most of your dudes up on that sad shit. I'm talking over you like you the ad libs. And most of your dudes up on some mad kids. Never sell to someone new. Fuck ops, that's a no-go. I'm dripped up, I'm pulled up, I'm trapping in that polo. Jumping in like a jumping jack. Can you follow us? I'm going to bring it back. So since they quick for dying, I'm going to raise some iron and make it look like Sonic fell on spikes the way these rounds fly. Hey, what's up? I go by the little butt. I'm uh, out here in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm on the battle rap scene out here. Okay. I was wondering if I could spit something for you guys. Yeah. All right, here we go. I wake up in the morning with that thirst, and I look down, and I'm ready to burst. And I got that disease where I always am coming. And I have that disease where I'm always, uh, where no matter what, I'm always coming. And even when I'm at the supermarket, I got that disorder, and it's a real thing, and look it up. And I'm always busting a nut and in every day i'm actually actually it's not great and you think to yourself oh that'd be really good and cool to be jerking off all be all the cum all the time but it actually becomes a really nasty thing in your life and imagine being at the supermarket with your family and you're just nothing and nothing and nothing and you can't stop nothing and there ain't nothing funny about it and it's just tough life man <laughs> you go be over here weak <laughs> you should actually record that porno pat loves calling religious radio shows and talking about his past life as a porno consumer and it's always a lot of fun and this time is no exception check it out Uh, let's let's stop it right now. We uh, do have a caller. The phone lines are open. The phone number is 248-416-1300. And then I'll get back to my thought. I believe it's Chris. Chris, who is your question, comment, or objection to? Hello. Thank you for taking my call. God bless, sir. Sure. Thank you. Um, well, uh, I'm... Uh... You know, I've recently sort of later on in life found the good book and, uh, you know, uh, I had a lot of issues and problems growing up as a teenager and stuff. I was spending a lot of time online. I'm not sure if you're ever online or anything, but it's not the best place, <laughs> if you know what I mean. No, it's not, yeah. Yeah, and I was into all of that. You know, I was into smut and, and, you know, all of the negative aspects of the Internet, the pornography and everything. And if you go on there, I mean, you can find everything on there. I mean, have you looked? It's like the stuff you can find on there is truly incredible. We understand. But what is your comment or question, please? 
Well, this is what my comment is about, is about how things have changed for me since finding the good book and how I no longer feel the need to, you know, look up hentai stuff or any of the old young or the, you know, the public stuff, the cream pie, any of that stuff. But you can find it all. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. Well, thank you for your call. We appreciate that. All right. Where are let's you going? Get... Why are you leaving? <laughs> all right. Thank you. Call again with uh, something serious, uh, something something actually that will help us, not something that will make us laugh. But it was a good laugh. Thank you for that. All right, everybody, that's the end, and it is falling apart for us around here. Obviously, we're no longer actually welcome in reality and living in the cartoon realm, and now we are a skull, and uh, I don't have any friends left, uh, nobody to help me with doing any of these episodes, but please do uh, check out... Uh, our Patreon, patreon.com slash not even a show. And we'll try to figure all this stuff out and, and just come back next week and really give it to them, really give it to them good. And this week's comment of the week goes to uh, the person who said that they'll always keep watching and uh, commenting. I don't know who it was because I'm not looking at it right now. I've got a lot on my plate. I'm a cartoon skull. Bye.